Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a 3 by 3 linear system using elimination. So 3 by 3 means that we have three equations in three unknowns. So we have x, y, z are our unknowns, and we have three equations here. Okay, so what it's going to entail is for us to decide to start off with two equations at a time, and we want to eliminate one variable from both. Okay, so this is going to be the exact same variable Whichever two pairs of equations we choose, it's going to be the exact same variable in both. So I see here that uh, this has negative 5 in front of y and this has negative 5 in front of y. So if I chose these, these first two as a pair, I would subtract the second equation or corresponding parts of the second equation from the first. Then that's going to get the, the y to drop out. If I look at, and again, I can choose any combination of two. I could also use, you know, the first one and the third one and add, because then the negative 5y plus 5y would go away. Or I can choose number equation 2 and equation 3. And in this case, it's again, it's still negative 5y and positive 5y. So I add those, and that's going to get the y's to drop out. Okay, so again, using two equations at a time, eliminate the exact same variable from both. Okay, so not just any one variable, but the exact same variable. Okay, so the way we're going to do it in this system is we're going to use the first two equations, subtract parts of the second equation from the first. So I'll do that over here in the side, on the side in green. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm subtracting. So I have negative x minus 4x gives us negative 5x. Then negative 5y minus negative 5y, that's 0, so we'll leave that out negative 5z minus 4z, that's minus 9z. And of course, don't forget to subtract the numbers on the other side. So 2 minus 19, that's negative 17. Okay, so this is what we get when we eliminate y using the first two equations. Okay, so now I'm going to eliminate y using the second two equations, but I'm going to add. So I have 4x plus x, that's 5x negative 5y plus 5y, that's 0. And then 4z plus negative z, that's plus 3z. And then I add these two sides, so 19 plus negative 20 is negative 1. Okay, so what I've done here is I've now reduced it to a 2 by 2 linear system, and we um, already know how to solve that really easily. Right, so after you have reduced it to a 2 by 2 system, you're going to solve that 2 by system. You can either use substitution or elimination, and it's totally up to you. All right, so um, because of this negative 5x and this positive 5x, I think it will be easier to solve that system by adding corresponding sides, because that's going to get the x to drop out. Okay, so again, we're going to add the second equation to the first equation. So we have negative 5x plus 5x, that's 0. Negative 9z plus 3z, that's minus 6z. And negative 17 plus negative 1 is negative 18. Okay, so now we've dropped it down to just um, this one equation that has just z in it. So we can now solve this for z. So we get z is equal to 3. Okay, so we take this value of z equals 3 and plug it into either of these two equations to find out what x is. So I'll put it in the second equation. So we get 5x plus 3z, so plus 3 times 3 equals negative 1. Or 5x plus 9 is negative 1. So we can take this 9 and subtract it from both sides. So we get 5x equals negative 10 or x equals negative 2. All right, so so far we have z is 3, x is negative 2. We need to find out what y equals. And so we could plug the 3 and the negative 2 into either one of these original equations to find out what y is. So I think I'll maybe just put it into the third equation. So we get so x plus 5y. So let me erase something here. All right, so 
x plus 5y. So negative 2 plus 5y minus z, so minus 3, equals negative 20. Or 5y minus 5 equals negative 20. Or 5y equals negative 15. Finally, okay, that was a bad 15. 15. And so y is equal to negative 3. So our solution is x is negative 2, y is negative 3, and z is 3. So we have negative 2, negative 3, 3 as our solution. Okay, so as we talked about in class, if you um, graph a linear function of three variables, it ends up being a plane in three space. So, and we saw a bunch of those in uh, 3D GeoGebra. So what's happening is you've got these three different planes that are coming together in exactly one point. Okay, here's an example for you to try on your own. Um, why don't you press pause while you work on it? All right, in this one, it's also set up for us to be able to eliminate y pretty easily from um, any two sets of equations. So I'll go ahead and choose the first equation and the second equation. And we will add corresponding parts because the coefficients are negatives of one another. And then just to change it up a little bit, I think I will take the first equation combined with the third equation as my pair. And then that's a 4y, that's a negative 4y, so I'm going to add as well. Okay, so let's combine these first two equations. So we get 4x plus 2x is 6x. Then the y's cancel. z plus z is 2z. 24 plus 0 is 24. Then I chose the first and the third. So I have 4x plus 5x is 9x. 4y plus negative 4y is 0. z plus negative 5z is minus 4z equals 24 plus 12, which is 36. Okay, so I've reduced it now to this 2 by 2 linear system. All right now I think I will solve this system using elimination by getting rid of the z. So to do that, I'm going to go to the first equation and multiply by 2 so that this becomes a 4. So this is a negative 4. I want this to be 4. So I'll multiply both sides of the first equation by 2 and then it's going to set us up for eliminating z. So we have 12x plus 4z equals 48, and still the 9x minus 4z equals 36. Okay, so now we will add both sides of this, um, these two equations. Okay, so we get 12x plus 9x, that's 21x, the z's cancel out. That equals 48 plus 36, which is 84. Okay, so now if we divide both sides by 21, we get x is equal to 4. All right, so now x is equal to 4. I'm going to put it into one of these two equations. I think I'll put it in the, the, the first one, but without the times 2. Okay, so we get 6 times six times 4, that's 24, plus 2z equals 24. So that means that 2z equals 0, or z equals 0. Okay, so we have x is 4 and z is 0. So now I'll substitute both of those values into this third equation. Okay, so again, we go back to the original system, pick one of the three equations. So we have 5x, so 5 times 4 is 20, minus 4y, minus 5z, z is 0, so that's minus 0, equals 12. So we have negative 4y equals 12 minus 20, which is negative 8. So we have y is equal to 2. So the solution to that system is 4, 2, 0. Okay, so each, each of these three planes intersects, and that point of intersection is the point 420. Okay, 
this system here ends up having no solution. So there's no point where each of these three planes comes together. Okay, so if you had two planes by, its, by themselves, then as long as they're not parallel, then there's going to be a solution. In fact, infinitely many solutions. But once you add in a third, then there might not be a common intersection at all. So let's, uh, why don't you pause and work on this example to see what the algebra will look like um, in the case where we have no solution. All right, so here I'm going to start by reducing the coefficients of the first equation by uh, dividing both sides by 5, just to make the numbers a little bit easier. So it becomes x plus y plus z equals 20 divided by 5, which is 4. 20 divided by 5, uh, which is 4. OK, so now I have x here, 4x there, negative 4x. I have y, 3y, 3y and z, 3z, 3z, okay? So, um, you know, there are various approaches uh, we can take sort of sometimes roundabout in solving systems, but I'm just going to keep using the same, I'm not going to deviate from uh, the procedure that I gave in the last two examples, okay? So I think maybe I'll choose to eliminate x from um, two sets of equations, okay? So I'll take the first and the second and the first the third. All right, so to eliminate x from this set of two equations, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 4, so both sides of it. So we have 4x plus 4y plus 4z equals 16, and then I have this equation 4x plus 3y plus 3z equals negative um, 6. All right, so now I'm going to subtract these two guys. So we get 4x minus 4x, which is 0. 4y minus 3y, which is y. 4z minus 3z, which is z. And 16 minus negative 6, which is 22. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to eliminate the x from the first and the third equation. So multiply this by 4, and then I'll just add, OK? So I get 4x, let me see, 4x plus uh, 4y plus 4z equals 16, and negative 4x plus 3y plus 3z equals 9. So now I will add 4x plus negative 4x is 0, 4y plus 3y is 7y, 4z plus 3z is 7z, and then 16 plus 9 is 25. All right, so as usual, we end up with a system of two equations and two unknowns, and we need to um, solve that one. All right, so what I'll do to solve this one is I'll multiply both sides of the first equation by 7. Then we end up with 7y plus 7z equals 22 times 7, which is 154. And then the 7y, so let me make that better, 7y plus 7z, oops, 7z equals 25. All right, then to this I will subtract. So I have 7y minus 7y is 0, plus 7z minus 7z, which is 0. So the left side, I get 0 when I, uh, when I subtract. And so that equals 154 minus 25, which is 129. So 0 does not equal 129. So we have no solution. OK, so these three, these three planes do not come together at a single point. All right, so the last example I'm going to go, go over here is the case when we have infinitely many solutions, OK? So um, let's go ahead and, and again, you're not going to know ahead of time, but what turns out is that all three of these planes are actually intersecting together in one line. OK, so um, I think maybe I'll eliminate z um, from two sets of equations. So I'll take the first and the second and add those. 
And then I think I'll take the second and the third and subtract. All right, so if I, if I add these, first two, I get x plus x, which is 2x. Negative 2y plus y, so that's plus y. Of course, as expected, the z's drop out. Equals 5 plus negative 2, which is 3. Okay, so you should um, definitely pause and, and work on these, right, and not just, um, just watch me do it. All right, so then I'll take the next two set of equations, and I'm subtracting the second from the first. So I have x minus negative 5x. That's going to be 6x. Negative y minus a 4y. So that's going to be negative y plus 4y, which is 3y. Z's drop out. Negative 2 minus negative 11. So negative 2 plus 11 is 9. All right, so now we have our 2 by 2 system that we're going to solve. And I think the easiest way to solve this is to uh, take this first equation and multiply each part by 3. Sorry, I'll, uh, let me eliminate the x. Yeah, so yeah, multiply both sides by 3. So 2x times 3 will be 6x. y times 3 will be plus 3y. Three, 3 times 3 will be 9. And then 6x plus 3y equals 9. So if we subtract these, we get 0 equals 0. So what that means is that we have infinitely many solutions. All right. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to choose to solve in these two equations, pick a variable to solve for in terms of the other. So I think it's easier if maybe I solve for y in the first equation. So I have y equals 3 minus 2x. All right. So then what we do is we take that and plug it into the y in any one of these equations. Again, so we chose to solve for y, so now we have y in terms of x, and then we need to just get z in terms of x. So let's maybe plug it into the second one. Let me erase some stuff here. All right, so y is 3 minus 2x. I plug that to the second one, so I have x minus y, so minus parentheses, 3 minus 2x plus z equals negative 2. And I'm going to solve this for z in terms of x. So I have x minus 3 plus 2x plus z equals negative 2. And so we have 3x minus 3 plus z is negative 2. So I have z will bring the, the 3 over, so 3. So add 3 to both sides, that gives us negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. Subtract 3x from both sides, so z equals 1 minus 3x. So our solution is, so the way it gets, um, and this is in fact how you express a line in, um, in three dimensions, in three space, is you have just one parameter. So x, whatever you solved for, um, so in this, you know, what we did, we solved y in terms of x, so everything is going to be in terms of x at that stage. So x gets to be anything. y is 3 minus x. Sorry, 3 minus 2x. z is 1 minus 3x. Where x is any real number. 
Okay, so this right here is the solution to that system. Okay, so again, um, it's going to be at the stage when you have infinitely many solutions for your 2x2 two two system. Solve for either variable there, and then take that quantity, plug it back into one of the equations to get that third variable in terms of it as well.